Ever since I was a young boy, I lived in the moment. I was never one to be happy about change, such as going to a new school or moving to a new place. This was also the case with my scouting career. I never imagined when I was a Cub Scout that I'd become an Eagle Scout. When I moved from the East Coast to the West Coast over five years ago, I was just starting out as a Boy Scout. I didn't think I was ready for the sudden change of a new troop, new home, new school, and new friends. On the very day that I arrived in Carmel, I had just enough time after a flight had landed to get on my scouting uniform and attend my first meeting at the Presidio of Monterey. Shortly after that, I attended summer camp at Pico Blanco with Troop 43, but later became part of the revived Troop 2 where I felt I belonged and where I would succeed. There is no there is no scouting without one's fellow scouts. Since I started Boy Scouts, I took note to whenever another scout did something well. I have tried to take the best examples from my fellow scouts and use them to guide younger scouts as they move their way through scouting. One of the hardest things that I've learned in scouting is that being a leader is not easy. You have to think of everything that needs to get done while making sure that everyone is doing what they need to be doing while having fun doing it. What I have learned and experienced from the start to the end of my scouting career has shaped me into the person I am today.